these open to sky spaces have very practical implications as well to the poor in their cramped dwellings the roof terrace and the courtyard represent an additional room used in many different ways during the course of a day for cooking for talking to friends for sleeping at night and so forth and for the rich at the other end of the income spectrum the lawn is as precious as the bungalow itself thus in traditional villages and towns all over india such open to sky spaces are an essential element in the lives of the people examine for instance the village of bani in kutch where the houses consist of a series of circular huts around a central courtyard each hut has a specialized function one for visitors and another one for storing grain a third for sleeping and so forth the family moves from one hut to the next depending on their need the time of day etc in a nomadic pattern of astonishing style and natural sophistication then again consider the mogul emperors in their magnificent red forts at agra and delhi living in a similar polycentric typology on the roof terraces of these forts we find truly elegant patterns of free standing pavilions placed in immaculate gardens inlaid with fountains and channels of running water as in the village of bani these pavilions are differentiated as to use the divane aam for receiving visitors the moti masjid for prayers the hammams for bathing and so forth